nothing can break me. Hi guys, welcome back if you've been here before and if you're brand new then thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you'd like to stick <laughs> around and join us in all of our adventures. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe button. Just there. If you do hit the subscribe button then please make sure to turn the notification bell as well and then you'll be notified every single time that we post. Absolutely, you some good stuff coming up. Yeah, <laughs> so um, today we're doing a really exciting video. Um, you guys all know that we are absolutely smitten with Bob and Kelly and of Kaya. Of course, they're amazing, go and check them out. Yeah, they're actually currently in Disney World as we film I'm this. so which jealous. Means, yeah, so there's going to be some really fun vlogs coming yeah. on their channel. But they've created a tag. And it's awesome. The questions in this tag are amazing. They're really funny. Yeah. Well, some of them I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, so we're going to do it, obviously. It's awesome. They are amazing questions. Yeah. They, they worked really hard on this. Yeah. So if you're not already subscribed, I've just said it, but say I'll say it again. Please go and subscribe to Bob, Kelly and Kaya because they're a lot of fun. They're awesome, yeah. Okay, so I've got the questions in my fun little unicorn book. It's fluffy. It's fluffy. <laughs> um, I've also colour coordinated. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get going. Yes, we're not. Question number one is what ride at a Disney park have you been too scared to ride but want to? Okay, for me, the word scared, I'm not scared of it because I think you can't be scared of anything in Disney World. Um, I think the word for me would be apprehensive. So for me, it would be Everest. Or that one, um, primeval that's world, you won't go on, really. No, and then the two the same reasons, so not scared but apprehensive from it because Everest goes backwards, and I don't like that feeling going backwards. But we're going on Everest next time we go, absolutely, don't promise. absolutely. No, but I'm, not, I'm not scared of it, and I'll do it. And the worst that happens, you feel a bit sick, yeah, so it's not the end of the world. And the same reason for the wall, the one that is spinning, and I don't like that feeling either, yeah. But that's the only two that I'm not scared about, but apprehensive about yeah and um, so I didn't have an answer for this because I was absolutely <laughs> terrified of the Tower of Terror yeah um, if you watched like the videos going <laughs> up to our vlog and actually our vlog from Disney last time you'll know how scared I was yeah and then I did it and like I still wouldn't say it's my favorite <laughs> but it wasn't that bad there's nothing that bad in Disney you, the thought of it is always worse than that actually doing it yeah so once you do it you think oh it's not bad it's, yeah. It's, so yeah I mean it's never nothing that bad yeah and I I actually like primeval well so because <laughs> I like spinning. So. Yeah, I just don't like that feeling he feels sick and you know, but like I say, and nothing bad's gonna happen, you just feel a bit sick. Yeah. <laughs> um so question number two is if you had to live in a Disney park for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? That's obvious. For you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine would be Ever uh, Everest. <laughs> Mine would be Epcot. Um only because there's awesome food, you can have an awesome steak. And yeah, there's, I, I think I agree with Kaya, there's a lot of people you could talk to in different, different countries. That's true. Yeah. That is actually a really good choice. Yeah. It's not my choice. Um, I chose <laughs> Animal Kingdom. Okay. Now, it's not my favourite park um, at all. And I really would like to pick like Magic Kingdom or yeah. Epcot. But I don't think I could live my life without seeing animals. <laughs> That's true. And okay. I want to go and stroke all the animals. Yeah. And so I'm yeah. going to go there and then at least I can see the animals <laughs> every day. I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so question number three, this is a question I did not yeah. want to participate in. Um, if you had to talk in a character voice for the rest of your life, which one would you pick? Demonstrate it. Who would it be? No, you go first. Mine would be Mephasa from Magic oh. <laughs> And because the act who does it, it's got a really great voice, so it would be like, don't turn your back on me, Scar. It really deep and... <laughs> Yeah. It's really awesome. Yeah, that's a good one. I could have picked Scar. I could do a Scar voice. I did. I didn't know who to pick, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll pick a princess because like their voices are most similar to my real voice. But then I thought that was cheating, so I picked Eeyore um, because I feel like I can. I'm so embarrassed. Um, so, and he would be like. Hello, I'm Eeyore, I'm fine, I hope you're having a good day. Right, so I've done it now. Question number right, four. Right, that's good. That's the best question. <laughs> what is your favourite pavilion at Epcot? This is really hard because I like them all. I, there isn't a pavilion that I don't like, but if I had to pick, uh, probably Canada. Yeah? Yeah, or Japan. I can't pick uh, between the two, or, um, Canada or Japan. So, one of them. But if I had to pick one, maybe Canada. Okay, I picked Italy. Um, we don't spend a lot of time in the Italy pavilion, actually. But I like Italian food. Yep. And I like the um, square. Like, when you walk by yeah. it, it's eye-catching. Um, so, yeah, I picked Italy. Yeah, and the only reason why I picked um, Canada out of two is 
because you've got Rico here yeah, and they got awesome steak. Mm. <laughs> okay, moving on to question number five. What restaurant at Disney have you wanted to try but are afraid of? Okay, see, again, afraid is not is what a word I wouldn't use because I'm not afraid of any particular food. I'm not. I, I don't mind spices. I don't mind you know how hot it is or anything like that. I don't. I don't. Don't mind. I'm not a fussy eater. Um, but apprehensive again to try again would be um, Sanaa because last time we went. Well, we've been there twice now. Yeah, and both times we we didn't love it. Um, so maybe I'm apprehensive to try again because there's so much better out there in my opinion. To Dan, but I've been told that it's really good, so I'll try it again, but I'm apprehensive about it. Mm -hmm. And also the wave, because sometimes you get really negative opinions on that one, and it's not the best a lot of people say, so I'll be apprehensive to try that one, only because what people said about it. Mm -hmm. So I picked the San Angel Inn in Mexico, okay, in the Mexico yeah. Pavilion. Now this restaurant is beautiful, <laughs> like it, you can see it from the Three Caballeros ride, yeah. you know, as you walk into the Mexico Pavilion and it looks yeah. really pretty. All the, like, oh, like John said about his two, the reviews are like great and yeah. also terrible. And um, I've not really looked at the menu so I don't know if this is fair to say, but I'm not good with spices no. and Mexican food, like we have tacos <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> They're, they're the mild ones, yeah. and sometimes I say, oh, that's a bit spicy. Yeah. So I'm not good with spices at all, and I just worry that I would pick something because I've not really read what's in it, and then I'd hate it. Yeah, and that's the same so. problem you had with Sanaa, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I so. picked, um, I tried to be brave in yeah. Sanaa, picked um, Maine, and... Yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't the best, but maybe next time we go, we try it, it might be good, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, number six is, what is your favourite Epcot festival? Okay, I think we've only been to one festival. I think, and that was festival holidays. Yeah. It was amazing, I loved it. So if they're all festivals like that, I'd be looking forward to going to them. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I picked Festival of the Arts. Okay. I know we haven't been, <laughs> but I know that that one would be my favorite. Yeah, it would be good. I mean, the Disney art is always great, so yeah, it would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so question number seven is, have you attended any special ticketed events, which is your favorite? Um, I think we've only done one-ish. Um, Ish, <laughs> you'll see ish in a minute. But I picked um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party, what was awesome last time we went. Yeah. Um, that was really fun. Um, so that would be my favourite because that's the only one ticketed we've done. Yeah. Um, when we went to Disney in 2015, they were having like a summer party for Olaf. Yeah. Um, and it was a 24 hour <laughs> event. Now it was included in your ticket. Yeah. So it wasn't special ticketed, but they it's don't do that event. very often and it was a special event. Yeah, and it was really good because you had 25 hours in the park on the same price as your normal ticket. Yeah. It was incredible. Yeah, and that one was definitely my <laughs> favourite because they had a lot on into the evening, like yeah. they had the Incredibles out dancing, they had like awesome. these clock photo shoots you could do, all of the rides were open yeah. and all of the characters <laughs> kept coming out in their pyjamas. It was awesome, yeah, I mean, it, I think it was only there a day, so we had quite a lot of jet lag, I think it was the first day we were there. And, and we, we made it to like 3am. I thought about 4 o'clock. Oh, maybe it 4. Maybe 3, I don't know, but we made it quite late and we were trying so hard to do 20 yeah. hours. We just have messed up the whole holiday. Yeah. You know, but it was awesome. I was falling asleep on <laughs> yeah. the hub and John was, was awesome. like, I think it's time to go now. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Question number eight. Pick a Disney character and make a drink or cocktail to match them. Okay, go on. Um, so I picked Snow White. I think she's a really easy one to make a cocktail for. Yeah. Because she likes apples. <laughs> so I was I was thinking like um, an apple sour kind of like tequila -y kind of, I want it to be like green. Okay, like, yeah. So like an apple teeny or something like that. But like, I think apple sour, because I think the sour is important because the apple was yeah. poisoned. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> maybe something to give it a fizz. So like lemonade maybe. Okay, yeah. That's with good. like obviously apple pieces on yeah. the top. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd yeah. be nice. Okay, I've picked Stitch because Stitch is one of my favorite characters. So I thought, well, what would he drink? <laughs> if you drink, oh, uh, you would like snot. But he wouldn't drink anything because he's hyper anyway. Yeah. But so I thought, okay, just go for like this sea sort of sun sort of type of theme. So I went mango rum. Oh, I love mango. Yeah, mango rum and maybe Malibu. It's a chuck in there because I love okay. Malibu. I love Malibu. Okay. I know it's a really old fashioned drink. Malibu but. reminds me of regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I love Malibu. The smell of Malibu was gorgeous. I mean, if you make it blue because obviously stitched, you would want a blue decor yeah. of some type, and obviously I think that'd be that'd be really nice. I just... think was that all alcohol though? Well, you, you blue of course not. 
But with Kira Zaka. Oh, I thought you told me but on that. Oh. <laughs> so John's made like a like a shot then. Is it gonna yeah. be a shot? No, you know, quite a long long, long thing. <laughs> and then they just make it all obviously with a uh, and vires and, <laughs> and a sparkly or whatever. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um so question number nine. If you were gonna buy into D V C or add points, what would you choose as your home resort? Anywhere. <laughs> Doesn't matter if we go anywhere if you have D V C because you don't have to stay at a home resort. Looked into it. Is that your answer? No. If I had to pick John's cheating. <laughs> if I had to pick um Polynesian or Animal Kingdom. Okay. I pick the poly. Um it just it just feels like our vibe. Yeah. I don't it, 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 we've been there once and it, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I had to pick it'd be good then. But anywhere because you don't have to stay with you there. <laughs> <laughs> um, question number 10. Are you a planner or an on the fly vacationer? Definitely a planner. Um, I think it's really fun to get you excited for a holiday coming up. Um, just sort of restaurants and fast passes. I really enjoyed doing that to sort of get you up for the, the holiday. Um, but we, we're not upset if we have to change on the day. No. So we are a planner. Um, or I am a planner, but if we wake up one day and think, oh, don't want to eat that restaurant, I'm more than happy to say, well, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, I think I probably, on my own, <laughs> would fall somewhere in the middle. <laughs> like, I like a loose plan. I like to know, like, where we're going. Yeah. And, like, I do like to have the restaurants booked, but I'm not massively bothered about, like, 9 o'clock here, <laughs> 10 o'clock here. I'm not mad. Like, it's fine and that works for me, but also I'm quite happy with a loosey goosey kind of day yeah. as well. Like, yeah, absolutely. And they obviously, if that's the plan to have a loosey goosey day, yeah. Then yeah, that's but, the plan. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you can be in the middle, can't you? Like, yeah, I think you can. I mean, I, I like to plan. I plan every day in my daily life anyway. Mm. I, I like to know what's going on, but there's no one forcing us to do that. We in charge, we we got we make our own rules. So if we don't fancy it at that time, we don't fancy that particular restaurant what we picked on that particular day, then I'm happy to change and that wouldn't ruin my day. Yeah. So, um, so question number 11. Snow White can't afford the rent for seven dwarfs. Which one would you kick out? <laughs> the obvious answer would be Grumpy. Because no one wanna be around Grumpy people. They've been just spring all day down. Yeah. So Grumpy. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Grumpy at first too, but then I think maybe Sneezy. Yeah, yeah, I can see that because the germs and whatever. Oh, but yeah. oh Snow. Why Snow? Because she does it's not her house anymore. Oh shoot, yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but then I don't I don't know, do they pay rent? <laughs> they live in the middle of the forest. <laughs> yeah, before you got Probably sneezy though, because there's um <laughs> there's lots of like infections and viruses going around at the moment and yeah. I'm just not risking that. No, that's fair enough, but I still will take it that over someone being gone for <laughs> my day down. <laughs> okay, question number twelve. Which princess would win a beauty pageant and why? <laughs> but initially I put uh, Moana because um she's amazing. But then I thought, well, actually think about it, I'll go with Jasmine. Because okay. she's stunning. Okay. And I think, see, and, and her outfits are really colourful all the time, you know, so uh, judgment, I think. Okay, I pick Moana. Um, <laughs> I think that she has something different to offer yep. than the other princesses. She's got, like, she can wayfind, which is a real cool <laughs> talent. It is. Um, yeah. I'm not 100% up on the rules of being a beauty <laughs> pageant, but she seems nice. She's sassy, <laughs> and you know, I think that that is what should win a beauty Yeah, pageant. That, that's good. I said initially I picked her, but I, I thought then, her outfits and Jasmine and uh, she's stunning and, uh, and yeah, she Jasmine's outfits are yeah. definitely nicer. Okay, question number thirteen. Um, which prince would be chosen to be on <laughs> The Bachelor and why? Okay. Have you ever watched The Bachelor? Maybe when you've been watching it in the background, yeah. I haven't actually sat down and watched it. I know what it is, um, so I picked Prince Charming because oh. <laughs> just because he, he he feels like royalty. He feels yeah. the closest to royalty, like Prince Charles. Of England, you know, he feels like that. I feel like that's you would need that to win the Bachelor. The bachelor yeah. God, Prince Charles <laughs> on the Bachelor. That's a terrifying thought. Or William, or, or Harry, or something. <laughs> yeah. um, so I picked Flynn Rider, which is the same as Kelly picked, um, because I do just think like I don't think he, we were ever given the idea that he is a player. I just feel like he could be <laughs> a player. He's also a lot of fun, you know, and. I just think he would be good at it. I think he could keep lots of girls entertained all at the yeah, same time. Yeah, but you time. see, 
you know, that's 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 the problem. You you want to be a proper gentleman, and I think Prince Charles would be the proper gentleman. Maybe. You know, he has got all the money. He's got he, he he would cheat you everywhere. He would he would just do everything for you. Yeah, Where but to Prince, make it... like, he's a bit a bit no one, isn't he? He's just like. Oh, but to make it a care. good show, they want the drama, and I think yeah, Flynn but it would be because the drama. It, it's it's the yeah, actually extremes. Between the pinch, the child, he's the extreme. He's he's proper gentleman, and he will look after you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, question number fourteen: Which Disney attraction is your favourite for napping? That's really good. That's really good. Go on. Oh, so originally, I picked the Council of Progress, and then I changed my mind, and I picked the American Adventure. Oh, I love I'm that really one. sorry, oh, but that is. I the, know. It's not that I didn't enjoy it. It's just that that's the one I nearly napped on. The Hollow Pleasure is really good as well. I, really I could probably that. nap there no, too. That's awesome. I think the one that I can nap on and that really matter is Impression Defense. Oh yeah, that was boring. That was boring. really, really bad. And it's got air conditioning and you can nap no problem at all. Is that one seated? Yeah, I think so. Okay, because some of the 360 ones are stood. Yeah, yeah. But that one's seated. And also uh, the People Mover would be a good one. That's too quick. No, because you just stay on it, wouldn't you? You just stay on it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Question number fifteen. You're going to you're going on a Disney trip. What one thing do you look forward to the most and one thing you look forward to the least? Okay. So I'm gonna agree with um Bob and Kai, I think. Would be a, the dining plan to straight off obviously Disney. Is it most? The Disney food is obviously the best and and it's amazing and we all love it. But I think the main the most thing I would look forward to is um, the Disney bubble. You know the customer service, the Disney bubble outside of real life, um, and just feel like you in the most happiest place on on earth. Or what I really enjoy, you know, and the customer service that we said before and other other things, other videos we do is you feel special and you people welcome them to your hotel and you you I like that feeling. I just like the bubble. Yeah, and the least. The least would be packing your case to come home. Oh obviously. yeah, that's <laughs> I hate that. And we always leave it till the very last minute, yeah. so we're always packing when we're absolutely shattered. Yeah. At like I, three in the morning after a full party. Yeah, I, I hate it. And you got to put all your stuff, your new stuff you bought, in your case, and you try not to break it. And you think, well, I better leave this here, and I hate it. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the worst. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, so mine kind of play off one another. <laughs> so the thing I look forward to the most, and this is going to sound silly, but travel day. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like pre-travel day. I like- I love travel day. Yeah, for some, there's something about travel day that that's when I'm most excited. Because mm -hmm. you're going there, you know, there's the whole anticipation of the trip. Yeah. Um, you know, it's the first day of our holiday, we always say is like pre-travel day. Absolutely, the, the day you finish work is your holiday. Yeah. yeah, so that's when I'm most excited. And like your countdown is finished, yeah. you're going. Absolutely. Like, so yeah. I'm most excited for that, but I'm least excited <laughs> for the flight. Okay, I that don't makes like sense. flying. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I think it, it's difficult because I like travel day, yeah. but I don't like traveling. Yeah. So I don't know. No, it's excitement of checking in the hotel and finding mm -hmm. it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so those are my two. Yeah. Um, so that is all of the questions. Um, we're going to tag some people. We're tagging five different people. We, we want to keep this tag going <laughs> as long as possible. You do, because it's awesome. The questions are amazing. They're so funny. <laughs> Um, and I really want to hear everybody doing character voices. I know I really didn't want to do it, so um, I think it's funny. Okay. And um, so we're gonna tag Cinderella loves Disney. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, so Helena and Martin, yep. the Disney damsels, Heather from the <laughs> Disney Housewives. Yes, yep. And Dan's video mosaic. Absolutely. So Amazing. I will. <laughs> I can't wait to see all of your videos. If you haven't checked out Bob and Kelly, go and check out Absolutely. Bob and Kelly. Absolutely. Straight away now. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you in our next video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.